There's a great feature in SmugMug which allows you to display a kind of a carousel of images. In fact, that's what it's called, carousel. And we can even put it onto the front page. So let's show you quickly how to do this. So I'm just going to go into Customize and Content and Design. And this kind of brings up the editing window for me to actually make the changes to. And of course here you can see it's highlighted in blue, so this means I'm just operating on the front page itself. So I'm just going to, first of all, just to uh, lose the distractions for a minute, I'm just going to click on background and just click off that image so to re just reveal just the dark background behind. At this point now I'm just going to click on to content and come down to photos and then you can see we've got a multiple option here of either a single photo or multiple photos a slideshow or a carousel and it's the carousel that I'm really excited about it's a great way to show off my photography so to use the carousel first of all all I need to do is basically just click into uh, the, the photo source which can either ov obviously be either popular photo recent fo photos or in this case it's going to be a gallery and it's going to be a choose gallery so just clicking onto that all I'm going to do is go up to the commercial and I'm going to click onto the fashion gallery here and just press done so straight away as you can see this comes straight across the top now I can change it in its look I can give it um, a kind of a different height as far as the different size is concerned I can go to 100% which will obviously make it very large across the screen um, so again as far as the look and feel I'm just going to reduce this down to now to the 50% just so we can kind of work on it and you can also see here I've got the content aware height on so that's going to actually uh, pay attention to the actual tallest Im image instead of just the uh, kind of landscape and kind of making them up as they go along as far as the different shapes and sizes and so on it's going to be one constant size going throughout the whole of the carousel then what I'm going to do is click on to controls and then I'm just going to select the uh, navigation windows off which will actually just appear over the left and right and then I'm going to uh, click the auto scroll wheel to fast and this is how fast the images will change obviously I've got slow and medium and fast it really depends on what you want I'm going to go for fast and then I want to loop the images in case they do happen to stay on the front page for a long time and then I'm going to just click on to randomize as well so it'll put the images in a different position when it kind of resets itself or starts all over again and that's it that's as quick as that to add the likes of a carousel to your front page and of course remember if I wanted to go in here and actually edit it at any stage to go to that full size just click it onto the options go back into basic put it into 100% click onto done and then straight away it's taken over the full page remember to make sure that if you are going to choose the full size that your image quality is of the full cut size quality and not just a kind of a low resolution file otherwise it's going to look terrible and that's one of the reasons I'm just going to go back and change these back into a 50 percent I could do it any size I want of course but this gives me a cracking little start to the front page when somebody hits us of course I'm just going to click done for now just play publish so that is the front page um, now if I want to I can just go in and make a, a kind of a, a page by itself with a carousel so to do that I'm just going to go into organize and let's just go into the um, commercial category here for a minute so you can see we've got this and if I just go into create and I just go to a page and this is uh, commercial fashion and then all I'm going to do is click on the create now and then by double clicking into that and then clicking on visit it on your site then basically the page is ready to actually add things to so in this point the same thing is going into content and design to make the adjustments to this page And I'm going to go and first of all I'm just going to take away this header on the top here just because I can remove that block once more I'm just going to go in and add the photos and the carousel by dragging that up and this is where you can see the drop zones uh, being applied so just kind of holding it across you can see the green line and it's going to put it above that content block once more I'll just go and choose those images just go back into commercial click on fashion once more just click on the 33% once more make that adjustment to all those uh, things I did making sure that it's on fast 
loop and loop, pressing done. And then, uh, as you can see, because I've created a new page, it's fixed the carousel into the middle of the page itself. And as you saw on the home page, it was going across the whole page itself. To do that on a page, all I need to do, of course, is just go into the layout mode. I'm just affecting this page anyway, as you can see. Just going into layout and choosing it from fixed layout to stretchy. And by doing that, it goes right across the page itself. Of course, the, uh, the great thing about this, that if I want to go and add in um, some more con content, so I'm just not fixed to just the carousel, but if I wanted to go in and add, say, a single fo photo above it, once more, I can just use the drop zone. In this case, uh, go and choose the photograph I want. So let's just go into um, commercial once more, into fashion, and just go and choose an image press done. I can go once more to just make it into a small image or a large image, whatever I want to do. In this case, we'll just go to small and we'll move it off center. And just clicking on to done. And of course, if I want to go in and add in text, I can just go and add a, cod a content down here, go and find text go and find the text box and then in the drop zone once more kind of just drop it over to the left hand side here and I can just add in a little bit of text on there just to make a little bit of difference I'm just gonna paste in a bit of rubbish just for a minute just so you can see that you can add uh, a great looking page let's click done to that for a minute and publish now and then you can see if somebody got to this page in whatever way, then we've got a bit of text on the side here. Of course, we've got a static image there and also we've got this carousel running. So this gives you a great idea on how you can use carousel to pretty much make your website and pages and front page, of course, as well, kind of uh, unique and kind of uh, what you want to actually show off in the way that you want to show it off. And that's one of the great things about SmugMug is allowing you to completely individualize your website.